Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz. <laughs> Somebody better call the law. We don't do it outside. We're about to brawl here in the roundhouse in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh, it took me way too long to do, and I wholly and completely blame Sarah for this intro. But it's time to enter because last time uh, we discovered an ancient poltergeist, and apparently he took the pair of hands that we needed. The periscope is able to find that poltergeist that took the clock hands. Its signal is different than any other ghost. I suspect that we may be dealing with an ancient poltergeist. Yeah, that's a real creative name you got there, Professor. Very exciting stuff. Capturing an ancient ghost would make for groundbreaking research. Just like everything you are exposed to in your life. Including TikTok. Ugh. Alright then, he seems to have settled in the roundhouse. Yeah, you don't say. I guess that's probably why the mission is titled Roundhouse Brawl. <laughs> uh, be careful in there. Ghosts tend to gain power over time, and this poltergeist seems to be absolutely ancient. With absolutely no scientific evidence to back it up, I will uh, take your word for it. Yep, he's got a lot of time on his hands. Sure, let's go. This is the worst beginning to any mission we've ever had. <laughs> yeah, he has the clock. You know, speaking of, we are literally in a clock manufacturing factory. Can't we just make our own or find a extra? Ah, doesn't make any damn sense, Nintendo. Damn it. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> And Luigi sticks the landing for once, and the professor drops us off exactly where we need to be. So this is fantastic news, but before we actually proceed further, ooh, I don't like the fact that there is that guy. Hi, hi, maybe not, maybe not. Leave me be. Oh my god, Woo! why are there so many spiders over here? Is this gonna be a repeat of the gloomy manor? I really hope not, good god. All right, well, I'm assuming there's probably treasure in here, but I can't get to it. Oh, you know what? I need to use this guy. Ah, I see what tricks you're playing game. All right, can you get over here? Can you? Uh-oh, uh-oh, ugh. Pfft, okay, that range made no sense. That or that was the world's crustiest spider web of all time. But uh, there should probably be some good stuff in here. Oh my god, that is not good in any uh, instance of the word. Oh, that's terrifying. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that that reappears there when it needs to, but let's head and grab this. And this is hopefully a good thing. A good treasure to be found, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And amongst other things, I did see that there was this here. Now, I think I haven't played this stage in quite a while, actually, but I think that green ribbon up there is not any good, but eh, I don't really want to spend any time bringing it down just in case. This one though, hello, I will indeed take that. And we do need to head to the roundhouse room, but on the upper floor, which this is not, because the last time we came through here, we discovered that uh, we had the world's sl most slipperiest um, wood panels of all time, and Luigi cannot walk across them at a 30 degree angle or he'll fall on his face. You even have the sound effect there telling you you can't do it. Like, that's just like comically bad. And then probably nothing we can do over here, but oh, hello. I guess the game is probably going to tell us. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow. Good job, Luigi. You made it to the roundhouse. But uh, the poltergeist signal is on the other side of the room. You know, if your periscope had that much pinpoint mm -hmm. accuracy, I'm not sure why we've been having all of this <laughs> trouble finding things. You'll need to find a way across that gap. If I were you, I'd shave my mustache. <laughs> mm -hmm. And try the lift in the warehouse. That's why I dropped you off in there, you imbecile. <laughs> all right, well, nothing for us over here. Although there is a bone. One for Luigi. <laughs> Okay, and I think that will pretty much do it for us here, so let's head upstairs and see if we can actually continue on forward in a way that will be advantageous to us. So, there you go. Suction-powered elevator, eat your heart out. Plus, over here we've got ourselves, I guess, a bomb that is only going to serve as a time sink because there's no other reason for it to be there. And hello! Hello, Mr. Treasure. How about you come back over here, Mr. Treasure? Why are you running? All right. Well, 
I've had experiences here where a bug has popped out, but be prepared to flash because with our newly acquired Poltergust, we will be able to take him out Ugh, much faster than before than ever previously thought. Hey, no, no, give me the, yeah. hmm. I'm losing money every what way, man. All right, yeah, we have this, but not really. I'm just gonna <laughs> drop it off over there. I'm actually curious though. Is it good? It probably isn't. I want to run back over here and see if we can even, I don't think we can even return from this side. That is unless, you know, our suction can go through, which it can't. Oh, oh my God. I, I bet you I can get squished in between that. Something tells me probably is the case. So no reason to really come back through here other than sheer curiosity. I don't think we can even go back outside or underground, but this is just a complete and utter waste of time. So curiosity is killing this episode. Let's leave and let's actually do some death defying maneuvers on the top of some rafters and have a good old time trying to find an alternate way of getting through the clockmaker's chambers. Actually, I think this door is unlocked. We don't have to do this unless we want to wake the sleeping gem, which we probably should. So by doing that, we're gonna suck up his rusty ass rug and we're going to change this really redundant digital clock that is next to the analog so that it matches. And as a result, wakey wakey. Time to wake up, sir. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? You wanna go? Oh, he's mad. Oh, there he goes. And he's got his treasure. There we go. Oh, you didn't even give me any things, man. Oh yeah. All right, well, at least we get the shrinking gem. There we go. I still haven't gotten the teardrop one, but that's okay. You actually can't even collect all of the gems until you reach the boss level, so I'm not too torn up about it. Neither should you. Sure, just go ahead and show off all of your ghostly, uh, psychic powers in front of everyone. How have these things not taken over the world yet? Hmm, you'll need to reach the other side of the room to get down there. Ah, you can use the beams to get across. Breaking the fourth wall is my speciality. I hope you're not afraid of heights, youngster. Yep, ciao. So, this is where it gets really annoying because this is where the gyroscoping is super touchy. And generally, in games, it's very good. But here specifically, it just gets really bad. So I have read that you can press the left and right buttons to jump across the beams, but that never works for me. And I don't know why it is, because obviously it's your buttons for exhaust and sucking, but I just the game doesn't let me. So I think a lot of sources are getting that real wrong. But let's take a look in this room. And yeah, I just do left and right. Where are you laughing from, sir? Fat snacks of cash on the top shelf. That granny's life reserves. Also, that looks like a very angry uh, furnace right there. But I guess there's things in here we're gonna have to look at. So uh, we're actually gonna head off over this way as well. And I'm going to be very careful, jump across and go down towards towards the screen. I'm hardly touching it. And he's like, whoa, whoa. We head over here, and we have a chest, one that has a diamond star. I will take it. Wowie. Yeah, meanwhile, the ancient poltergeist will be sending out his mating calls, and Luigi will reciprocate with his shrieks of terror. Oh, go this way. Run, run, Luigi, run. All right, we are set. All right, yeah, that guy's noises are real creepy. So, oof, hello, dramatic door closing much? Who did that? Hey, listen, man, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Mom! Ooh. So welcome to the transportation hall. This area is real annoying, because the second you try to do anything pertaining towards, you know, catching these treasures or trying to get forward in the stage, you won't be able to. You're just going to be on this conveyor belt, and apparently Luigi doesn't know how to walk on a conveyor belt without it moving. So, this is where we need to go, but unfortunately, door's locked. 
So we gotta get to the other end of the hall in order to get it, and that's done by zigzagging through these doors, Scooby-Doo style, more or less. So we're gonna head in here to the finishing room, and we're going to be careful. Oof! Hey. What are you guys doing? I'm just gonna try this thing. I don't know that this is gonna work. Not the way I think it will. What? I can get it through the floor. All right, fine. Have it your way, game. There's this guy right here, this jerk. And we're gonna go and grab that, and you're done. Now it's gonna be a bonafide fight for the ages here because for one reason or another, they're gonna have these on and they're gonna smack me down. But just like before, they're going to uh, taunt us by <laughs> trying to see where we are. And... Oh, I didn't get a thing there? All right, that's unfortunate. I gotta get used to this timing. So, let's go and do this, and again. All right, I pressed it at the one, but hmm. We'll see, we'll see about that game. So we're gonna head off down over here and get rid of this thing. This has been bothering me for a minute. And turns out there is another uh, rambunctiously moving sort of wall door here. I don't even know why you would bother going into it. You know you're just going to get sucked in head first. But it's another one of these. And the way that we probably want to take is, I suspect, this way. Yeah, this feels right. 15 seconds to collect all of these treasures. Sure, hopefully it's the right way. And don't be scared, Luigi. It's just nature, man. It's natural, and we got the we got the chest or the tool chest, I suppose. That'll give us some money. Nice. I will indeed grab this. I do it. Yeah, that'll definitely pay for the hospital bills because of our <laughs> self endangerment. Uh, so I'm gonna grab these up here. Nope. Get out of here, man. Give me those. Give me those. I don't want any of those stupid plants or papers. I want these papers, the ones that give me stuff. And if we go, what the? Mm, never seen that happen before. But I guess now it's just real happy to see us. <laughs> Alright, what is this? This will kind of show us the kiln room. Yeah, spooky. I know, right? I guess. Maybe. Probably not. So that's it for this room. We will be able to progress a little bit further, but you want to be careful because if you go too far down, you can actually miss the... Are you kidding? What are you guys doing? Why can't I move? There we go. Uh, yeah, you can actually miss your door if you move too far down, so <laughs> be careful and we can make our way to the container yard. This is another one that is just kind of an annoying room, but we get lots of money in here. So, uh, what I would suggest you do is pull the chain, perhaps. This might actually have something good for us. So, I'll grab that, pull it, and that's going to drop some of those bombs there, which will lift a path and make us able to progress. Although, there is some angry men in here. It is not. Alright, where's your friend? We, we don't need to kiss, I promise. I'm just gonna stun lock you until your friend decides he wants to help, maybe. Maybe? Where's your friend? Alright, here. Maybe you didn't have a friend. Maybe he's your rival and you're just watching your ass get kicked. Or I guess we just have to wait for this guy to come on through. There we go. We had to help him break out of his mortal physical coil. There we go. Alright, that's fine, I guess. No! That gold bar, man. I needed it. I needed it. Alright, whatever. So, a uh, chest in here will contain money! Money for days! And now that we're on the other side, we can bring these guys to their untimely demise. And, uh, just watch them perish <laughs> so that we can go through the door, thus making our way further up the transportation hall. So, I'll grab the two coins and we'll head in here to the steaming kiln room. And there is a spider out there now. Wait, I want it. I need it. I need it. Oh, come on. Oh my god. There's more of you guys. Okay. Uh, I really hope that didn't screw me over. But I can still walk in. Whew. Thank god. So the kill room is a little interesting because if you try to flash this, it's not gonna work. It's just it's too foggy. Too misty. 
So we're going to need to uh, get scared by that guy, but we're also going to need to turn this off. There we go. That'll turn off the steam, and we'll also turn it off over here, but there is no valve. So we must make one appear. There we go. And there we go. You'll notice that as we suction, we'll actually end up uh, reducing the amount of steam, which is a really cool concept. It actually kind of confused me at first, but we suck it all in, and it is as clear as the night sky. So open her up, and hello? 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 <laughs> Mario! Nothing? Alright, we'll step in, I guess. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. Good for you guys. Supposing you guys had a lot of fun in there. There we go. And a boo. Boodonculus is in the building. <laughs> my name makes no mistakes. By the way, smell my breath. Or makes no sense. That didn't even make any sense. Alright, so where are you? I wonder if I can get him in the kiln. That'd be kind of cool. What the? Hey, <laughs> But chances are probably not. So here we go. In you go. Nope. Missed. Damn. You can't even aim it up or down, but that's fine. That's definitely a tufa. All right. So let's go and aim that back at you. I like how you can still move, even though <laughs> the cutscene is happening of him doing his stuff. So there we go. That's more like it. All right. Get my pooch, little buddy. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Luigi time. So let's move on, pull this red ball over here, and this will actually give us a golden bomb. So I'm gonna go and activate it and cheese it, cheese it. Oh, he exploded. He didn't even give me a chance to run all the way away. But with that, we actually made it to the other end of the conveyor belt, which is really nice for us, which means we can head over to the other side and collect the treasure we earned. So I'm gonna go and pull this off. And we're actually going to be introduced to a new concept. These gears that you see that have the springs on them, you can actually use them to hop across things, which is cool. So let's grab our well-deserved key, and uh, we can head off over here. Whoop, uh, there we go. Way, way. Man, I, I've been editing through some of these episodes, and I'm so surprised I haven't made any Banjo-Kazooie noises yet. <laughs> We made it, and it's time to finally head down and confront that damn ghost. Oh, yeah. Stupid, ancient spirit that we disturbed and woke up. Oh. Uh, so annoying, man. Uh, we step on through, and we're back on the other side. The old roundhouse. Alright. So, self-inflicted wounds aside, we did pretty well as far as not taking damage is concerned. So, I'm glad about that. We also have fake walls here with more real money. And we keep on going and check it out. This has been taunting us since a time of the entrance, but it's fine. We got it now. And we're actually gonna head over here and before confronting him, we'll activate this. So, this is a nice little well-kept secret. And we activate it. Check it out. Money pays. All right, be prepared for something really annoying. Hello. Um, Mr. Beetle Man, this was none of your concern. This battle has nothing to do with you. Your parents, they still love you. Uh. So, this fight is more or less the same, although he, I got caught in the cutscene and got blown up by the guy because he's a dummy and uh, so you'll be able to find where he is based off of the sand. He has a lot more health this time but luckily for you you have a triple suction and you won't be able to take him out in a single cycle as much as you want to. But now we're confronted with sneakers and they're going to be real annoying. I think there's just the one on this phase but give me the money. I've taken way too much damage and so just watch out for the bombs. They're really easy to avoid unless you start off and it blocks you in because it does act like a physical item so you, and they explode really fast so there we go i couldn't really go inwards but oh hi hi so the game will kind of troll you into thinking that maybe you can get him on this cycle but you really kind of can't because he's just going to start that again and he's impervious to your uh flashes he's seen that way too many times to count that was my bad and i got caught on the thing all right, 
yeah, this game, it like almost rubber bands and waits until you're in a position where you're not able to defend yourself. But I've seen people get away with like a ton of uh, things. And if I could, man, oh, right, there's your friend. Okay, all right. So we're gonna still have things being tossed at us. I'm stuck on the, I'm stuck on the thing. There we go, get out of here. There we go. Good God, where are you? Come back. Come on, show yourself, man. If you wanted to play? Uh, I've got the games for you. So here we go. Ugh. This is a bad run, my friends. This is not even worse. Show. It's worse is that I am just getting worse every time. This is a new recording session. I still can't. Ugh. I don't know, man. All right, so we're supposed to pull this. There we go. Perspective is weird. Let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. Ugh, so many roundabout ways to get to the roundhouse. Ugh. All right, here we go. Yellow. Yellow. Good going, Luigi. I knew you had it in you, although you're looking a little worse for wear. But yeah, not only did we catch the ancient mm -hmm. poltergeist, we also got the clock hands, which means we can finally get to the boss, right? Not quite. Hold on. I will do it. Thank you, Brittany. Oh, yes. Whew. So, uh, this is real bad. I probably shouldn't have started with a TikTok meme, because that probably is what derailed this entire thing from the beginning. 17 minutes, 14 ghosts, 70 health, man. I just got walloped. But I still got a triple rank. You know what? I'll take it, I guess. This game is giving me pity in the weirdest of ways, and I'm all but here for it. But I won't say I don't deserve it, all right? All right. Well done, my boy. Well done. The poltergeist telekinetic power was no match for the poltergeist 5000. No, it wasn't. But it was really annoying. Oh, yeah. And my strength and courage, of course. So it's time to dump all of this paranormal nonsense out of here into the trash and uh, call it good. I think that's all the gems we needed. Look at this guy, this wise guy and this boo. I think that's like our second mandatory boo actually. But hooray, we did everything right and we still failed in some cases. <laughs> now let's see those clock hands. Oh, clock hands, clock hands. Yes. Criminy, <laughs> that's only the minute hand. Where is the hour hand? God damn it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that away for now. Well, one hand is better than no hands, I suppose. In some circles. But where could that other hand be? Hmm. Try to come up with a plan to find the missing hour hand. In the meantime, <laughs> why don't you go wash up? Coming from you, man, that's rich. The ghostly goose smell coming from your overalls is making me a little woozy. Oh, that's not ghostly goo, my friend. <laughs> oh, man, what a nightmare of a recording session this has been. And what's even great is that I'm actually probably going to do just one more. But next time, join me on Luigi's Mansion 2 where we're going to play catch. <sighs> you know what that means, right? It is exactly what it insinuates. So without further ado, be prepared for actually a shorter mission. Thank you goodness huh and also thank you guys for watching i guess if you've made it this far probably not <laughs> i'll see you guys next time